for pharma. What is your own uh, view on how to approach some of these stocks, not just L&T and what you expect from that, but also uh, say something like a Tata Motors that lost almost 10% this week. How would you map that chart? Yeah, the, the auto sector is very crucial for the overall health of the market. I think uh, my understanding from the charts is that there is still one more leg up for the auto sector. But, uh, you know, as you recall from our last ticking stock uh, interaction, I pointed out that I'm uh, more favorable towards Bajaj Auto than uh, any other stock within the space. I think Bajaj Auto is set to take out the all-time high at 2700 plus. So, uh, now I would prefer uh, Bajaj Auto to uh, uh, Tata Motors. And when coming to other stocks in the, in the you know, in the, in the highly leveraged space, you would recall when we were bullish on the markets and calling for fresh highs to come through, we said we were very negative on DLF and we expected that to take out the 100 level. It was trading in about, uh, you know, uh, 140, 140 odds in those times. And even, even now, you know, we saw this week it hit a low of 103. I think it could still have much more downsides to come through. But, you know, um, from a trading perspective, uh, a risk reward potential is quite low. So you would rather wait for a, a pullback closer to something like 120, 125 to come through and then try to act on it. But, uh, we, uh, you know, uh, we, have, uh, we, we are negative on the, uh, you know, uh, highly raised space like infra stocks and uh, uh, real estate stocks. So, you know, uh, you, uh, positive on auto, as I said earlier, it's very important for the larger uh, health of the market.